Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. Today I have a very exciting video because I have never done a makeup look on camera without using foundation and you guys know I love my glam, my heavy glam. But I thought, you know, we all want to wear makeup, we all want to look good and especially in summertime when the sun is like at its max and it's super hot, you still want to look good instead of like greasy and cakey and you don't want to feel like dirty or that you have like a lot of going on on your face so i thought you know what i'm going to do this video where you do have quite a few products on your face but it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't feel heavy so if you want to like fake it till you make it then keep on watching so let's start with this video yeah i always have fun doing these kind of looks because you know of course we do makeup for ourselves but this is like the look that Everyone is going to think you're a natural beauty. Oh my God, she doesn't even wear makeup. She's so beautiful, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's get started. So for me, a healthy skin means a glowy skin. It goes hand in hand. So that's why I like to use a primer, which is very hydrating and leaves sort of a glow instead of a very mattifying primer. But if you're on the oily side, I would recommend a more mattifying primer because you have that like glow naturally. So this is the Hangover Primer from Too Faced, which you all know that I really love. I'm going to put that on my skin. Obviously, I'm going to use quite a few products. And I like to use a Beauty Blender for almost everything. Maybe I will use like one or two brushes. But I feel like uh, a Beauty Blender is more, you know, it layers better. And the foundation doesn't look really on top of you. No, no foundation. The uh, concealer and the liquid highlighters going on in your face are not going to look very on top of your skin and you don't want that. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use two concealers and I always get this question, why are you using two concealers? Because the first one that I'm using is usually is for to get that full coverage effect and the other one is more to highlight the, you know, the usual thing that I do with my face, highlight this part of my face and then this and this. Uh, but if you do that with a very light, high coverage concealer it's going to look a little bit more cakey so i like to put all the coverage underneath my eyes and then highlight with a lighter concealer lighter finish texture concealer if you know what i mean I always say if you know what i mean and it's so annoying especially when i'm editing I f i'm like shut up with your if you know what i mean but i always say it in dutch as well so it's not like in dutch it's snappy what we do and i always just say that as well so i'm sorry guys i have to stop saying that um so first thing that i'm going to use is the tarte shape tape concealer it wouldn't be fair to use this on my whole face because you know it would be like using a foundation um but this is in the shade medium it's close to my skin color and we are going to use this on the places where we need a little bit of concealer so that would be underneath my eyes to cover up the dark circles i'm not going to use a lot because this this look is all about looking and natural okay taking my beauty blender i'm just going to blend this my eyes so around the eye area so as you can see this looks a little bit weird because we have coverage going on here and then the rest of the skin is just like skin so to prevent that i'm going to use a lot of glow because with glow you can't really see where things start and things end you know so um so it will all look a little bit more blended what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the liquid glow it's from anastasia beverly hills and it's in the shade oyster and i'm just going to use that on my whole face This is actually, you use this instead of your foundation and this has no coverage. For this, I am going to use a brush and this is the Urban Decay Diffusing Highlighter Brush in F106. I'm just going to buff that into my face. Also go over the concealer because it would be weird to have a very matte under eye and a very glowy skin. So what I really love about this liquid glow is that you know i have a lot of liquid highlighters but some of them are really heavy on the glow which i really love but it's not very suitable to use it on your whole face and with the anastasia beverly hills um liquid highlighters i feel like it's just enough to use it on your whole face now i'm taking the same concealer also in the shade medium and i'm going to use it on the spots only on the spots so not on your whole face i have a lot of spots going on you guys 
Okay, so here and then here I have a big one, big red one. And if you have small little spots, don't worry, you can't see them anyway. You know, no one's going to see them. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Those are the biggest spots that I have on my face. Taking my beauty blender, I'm just going to buff that in. To highlight my face a little bit, to give it some kind of like contrast, I'm going to use the Shape Tape Concealer, but this time in the shade Light Medium. So I'm just going to highlight the face as usual, just a little bit, because if you're going to use too much, and I know this is a high coverage foundation, but we're not using a lot. Like a dot here. I'm just going to buff that in with the concealer and with this brush where there's a little bit of highlighter on I'm just going to drag it down into my skin because you don't really want to see where the concealer starts and ends what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bronze up the face but I don't want to use a lot of powder so I'm just leaving my bronzing powders and I'm going to use this for the first time this is a Too Faced Bronzed Peach Melting Powder Bronzer infused with peach and sweet fig cream which smells so good and Look how cute this is. Oh, it smells just amazing. And I swatched this a couple of times on my hands, as you can see. But I thought, you know, I thought, um, how am I going to use it? But I'm going to try to use it with the same highlighter brush. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to contour with this. I think this is going to look amazing. Oh, it smells so good. I love the color. I like the undertone. Going into the hairline. I can't believe how good this smells. It's just so... It's nothing new for Too Faced, but every time I use one of their products, I feel like... Oh, it's so good. I love this. I really love it. It doesn't feel too creamy, and it doesn't feel powdery either it's just i don't know it feels good so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use mm, i know this is expensive but it's just so beautiful and i'm telling everyone i know it's expensive but if i even if i didn't do this uh, like um as a job i would definitely purchase this because this gives you that unreal glow you know the glow that you see on instagram not the powdery glow where you see like one stripe highlighted and then face tuned to the max. I'm talking about the real glow. You know, all those makeup artists have these beautiful models and they all have a glow and you're like. <laughs> so that's what you can achieve with this um, diamond and blush palette from um, Natasha Denona, which is not sponsored, but it does look sponsored because I'm just very excited about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going in with this cream. No, it's not a cream, it's a glow cream base. And this is going to, you know, everything that's wet, because we still haven't powdered the face, and everything that's still wet is going to suck the highlighter in. Not really in, it's going to look amazing with a powder on top. So make sure that even if you are using a powder, because for example, you have very oily skin, don't powder the places where you really, really want the glow to be seen. Is that a good English sentence? I don't think so, but hopefully you can understand. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, a little bit on the cheeks, because if you look straightforward, we want to see something, like some sort of glow going on on the cheeks, the nose bridge, and the chin. Okay, you don't see, well, obviously you see a lot of glow, but nothing compared to what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this cream blush right here, because we all because it's better to use all cream products first and then use powder. Okay. And this looks really pink, but I promise you, this looks very light on the cheeks. My God, I feel like with blush, you really come to life. Some people don't use blush because they don't like it, but I really like it. I know this is a lot, guys. The back of the uh, Pewter Blender, I'm just going to blend this the rest of the makeup. OK, 
okay what you can do is you can also use a little bit of the same cream blush and you can just this is going to look amazing guys i'm going to show you a little trick um and it's not even a huge thing but it's just beautiful and the whole look is coming together with just one thing i'm not going to do this side so you can really see the difference so i'm using a little bit of cream blush onto my beauty blender so what i'm doing right now is i'm taking the blush higher and this whole area is covered with a little bit of blush so don't use too much but you have to like see it but at the same time you don't see it you see how this all comes together and this is more like blush highlight bronzer see 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 maybe you can't really see it but i do see it so everything is more whoosh, whoosh. okay second thing that i'm going to use is a small brush this is the bh cosmetics 140 and i'm going to use this diamond powder and on the highlighter okay Okay, so this is actually the first highlighter and now we are going in with the Glow Extreme, which is this one. And I want it to be ugh, like really extreme in a good way. So I'm going to wet my brush with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. And we're really going in, okay? So this Glow Powder right here. Oh my god. I just blend it with everything you have going on with your blush, with your bronzer. Oh my god, do you guys see this? I hope you can see this on camera because that's so frustrating. You know it looks good, but on camera it's just like. Just bring it up towards your temple. Hey, oh, I love this. If you want to go like even further, you can use this like it's a citrus kind of color, which is Dio Glow. And this is going to give that, I don't use this too much because I don't want the highlighter to be pop out in like a color wise. I just want the glow to be there. I don't want to have like a bright, bright highlighter, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm just a little bit, because this is going to really brighten up the highlighter. Whatever is left on this brush, I'm just going to blend kind of like everything together. So you can't really tell, you know, where the highlighter is and where I started it. It's just all going to melt together. So if you're on the oily side, you can take a translucent powder, maybe a loose powder, and just powder where you tend to get very oily. What I like to do is I'm going to take one of my favorite powders, which I actually don't use that much. But the reason why I really love this powder, it's also a very expensive powder. I thought it was limited edition, but you can use any powder that you like. This is the, I, oh, when I have to speak like a French or pronounce French words, I always get very nervous because I think they're all going to laugh. But this is Guerlain uh, me, Meteorite, me, mete, Meteorite whatever powder and this smells amazing and it's not really you know a mat mattifying powder it's just a very light powder which mattifies but not too much i'm only using this on like the center of my face so the places where i get oily which is usually here so even though we don't have a lot of powders going on i'm still going to use the touch of luminous dewy skin mist because you know, it's just going to look nicer. It's going to feel good. Now, the brow. So if you're lucky and you have a bold, bushy brow, you can just use a brow gel and comb everything like upwards and you have this edgy, raw, editorial look. Unfortunately, I don't have very bushy brows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush every hair that I have upwards. Okay, and I'm going to use the uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in number four, which is quite on the dark side, but I'm going to use a little bit 
to get some sort of a shape and then later we'll go in with a very light powder very light hand i'm just going to um make sure that i have a shape so taupe sounds very light and i thought you know that's why i've always used like ash brown dark brown medium brown soft brown but taupe is such a good color i fell in love with it so that's since then i'm using taupe um yeah we're going to use this and i'm also going to try to blend this stripe that we see because i don't want any harsh lines on my brows although i think it's not very possible I'm just going to fill in the gaps you see how freaking natural this looks that's it you know you see how soft that looks okay um blah 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 brow gel and caramel which i also always use Um, okay, so what I'm going to do next is because, you know, obviously you can still see some of these spots going on and that's because it's texture difference. You can just see spots, it's normal. And um, what I'm going to do is I like that, even though I don't have it, but we can still fake it. I like that, you know, that beachy skin with freckles and a little bit of redness into the face as if you just laid under the sun and you know had a good time on the beach so i'm going to use the precise my brow pencil which i've used for the brows as well and i'm going to fake a little bit of freckles and just going to make dots on you know the my spots just so you don't really see what's a spot and what's a freckle smart art. smart smart just making all kinds of small dots Hey, this is a real one actually. This is a real one. Very proud like this. This one is real, you know. <laughs> oh. So those are spots. Ooh, taking my beauty blender, I'm going to blend. I'm actually going to press it so it doesn't look very harsh. You see, that's way more natural. If you look closely, you can still see it. So for lips, I'm going to use this Buxom, Buxom, Buxom Hush Hush Lip Liner. And I'm just going to slightly going to um, like define my lip line. And last but not least, I'm going to use a little bit of this bronzer from Too Faced. I'm going to put this on my eyes. And since it's more like, it's not really creamy, I don't think it's going to crease either. That is actually it for the face. I'm not going to do something crazy with the body, but I do think if the, you know, if you're wearing a nice dress or a nice top where you can see your shoulders and arms, maybe it will look a little weird when your face is all completely like shiny and glowy and the rest of the body is matte so i thought i'm going to share one of my favorite body glow products with you and it's melanie mills hollywood gleam body radiance which you all probably know i think and this is so freaking gorgeous it's not it's like gold in a tube this is a brush that comes with it i think you can purchase this separately but i think this is a very nice brush not nice brush because you can like sweep it around and just blend the product into the body and it will all look amazing so just using it a little bit so you can see it looks really golden yellow Can you see that? So that is it, you guys. Here you have the final look. And it also reminds me kind of like a Victoria's Secret makeup look. You can definitely add some eyeshadow. You can like wear a little bit of mascara. You can even wear like maybe natural false lashes. And you can do anything you want, but I really wanted to focus on the skin. And I thought, you know what? Because I have a lot of spots, so I'm not cheating here. It's not like I have very clear skin and like I don't need foundation. I hope you guys got some inspiration out of this and let me know if you want to see my favorite glow products because I can definitely do a video on that. I can also show you some budget products and some high-end products. So yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!